Hello, it looks like we're started. I just like to give it a couple of seconds uh, so there isn't just that silence going on, but it looks like everything is working well. Hello, everybody, and welcome out to our live stream. Once again, it's your piano teacher, Tim, here, and in this live stream, I'm going to be explaining to you why you should join Piano Practice Club. So I guess, hello, Emma, I guess I should explain what is Piano Practice Club. So I want you to think about it this way. You know how there's book clubs where you meet once a month, you all read the same thing, you come together, you talk about it, you learn together, and it's a great experience if you like books? Well, I've created the same thing, but for piano practicing. So how is it going to meet, how it's going to work, <laughs> can't talk today, how it's going to work is we're going to be meeting a once a month. Uh, the first Friday of each month, we're going to be having a live stream on the YouTube, Piano Lessons on the Web YouTube channel where we're going to all come together and play the pieces that we have listed for that month. Now, you'll be asking, Tim, where do I get the list of pieces or how do I join Piano Practice Club? Well, we have a community Discord that I've linked for you in the description. It's going to look something, whoa, <laughs> like this. Um, so when you first sign up, a lot of people probably are greeted here. In fact, I had a student just ask me like, I joined the discord, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so if you go over to the left, I'm fairly new to discord as well. Uh, you're going to see this section called piano practice club. So once you click the link that I gave you, you click accept and then you're in. So here we have the pieces that we're going to be working on for the month, playing submissions, and then piece recommendations. So let's take a look at the October pieces. So this is the list of the pieces we're gonna be working on for October. Now, because we this is the first session we're gonna be doing, I've actually selected the pieces for you. I've taken a couple of recommendations here or there, but pretty much I selected them. Uh, now, this will be different next month because we'll meet, and at the end of that session, we'll together come up with a selection of pieces to practice for the following month. Sorry about that. Let me get uh, let me get us back here into the Discord. And there's also a little bit more information on how this works. So let me just read it off for you. Hello, students. This is the Piano Practice Club practice list for October 2021. Next session of Piano Practice Club is very important. We'll meet Friday, November 5th at 3 p.m. around this time. Uh, and it is for, remember, even though we're meeting in November, it's for the October practice list. Makes sense? And then how this works is you're going to pick only one piece from the list below. If you try to learn all of them, it's going to be quite an undertaking. So only choose one. You're going to practice the piece for the next month and then post an audio or video recording in the playing submissions channel before the next club meeting. So the playing submissions channel was the one right below October pieces over here. But that's only if you want to. So say you learn one of these and you're like, well, I want my um, recording to be played in the next session, or I just want Tim to talk about it maybe. Well, put your recording in this um, section of our Discord, the playing submissions as Peter has already done. You can just upload a file, an MP3 file or a video file, or you can link to um, a YouTube video or something of that nature. You can do it a lot of ways, but you're gonna submit your recordings here if you want to. And then during the session, I'll be playing the recordings, telling you what I think, and we'll discuss each piece as we go along. Um, sound good? If you have any questions about how this works, uh, please let me know in the comments. And you know, the few hours after this video is posted, I will answer any and all questions about piano practice club but the number one thing you want to do is join our discord you know go to that piano practice club section right here you know um, October pieces is probably where you want to start that's your list you know read through the directions again just to make sure you got it and yeah and I think the important thing though is only learn one piece I know I said that before but I know some people will probably forget that part and then think that they have to learn all of them now how do you choose your piece well, think about where you're currently at. You know, look at a piece you're currently working on, right? So get out a good old lesson book like this one. If you're working through one of those and say, um, I just played this piece 
let's see, focus, focus, alouette, right? So I'm looking at like some of the rhythms going on here. We got some dotted quarter notes, some simple like chords between each hand. It's really not that difficult. So you wanna look through each of these pieces and try to find the one that's as close to something that you're currently working on. So let's just kind of like take a look together, see what piece might be, I already know which one <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, but see which piece might be the best. So here's Old MacDonald, right? It's similar in, um, in difficulty to the one we talked about, just the, the Alouette. There is no dotted quarter notes, but that's just fine. You know, there is a key signature to work with here. And so that might be like something, you know, a little bit new for you. So you might want to choose this one. If um, this one seems too easy for you, so you learn it in no time at all, just go to the next one on the list. Now, some of them I had to attach below just because of how this chord works. So if it ever says attach below, just find it here. This one is probably closer in difficulty to that Alouette piece I just showed you. So use your own judgment. Like one thing I always look at is note density, right? If there's a lot of notes, let's, let me show you an example. I talked about this in a previous lesson with like sight reading, I believe. But generally the more like black, black uh, ink is on the page. Like you see this one. Oh, there we go. How there's like a lot of sharps, a lot of flats, um, you know, ties, all sorts of squiggles over the page. Certainly more than that Alouette piece I showed you. You know that this piece is probably going to be more difficult. There's just more ink on the page. That's just a very snapshot way that I always recommend my students do it. So that's kind of how you're going to choose it. And then if you learn the bag, it's hell in no time at all. Then go through the list again and see if you can learn the next one up. Um, but what I want to tell you is continue working on whatever you were working on before. Don't try to learn all these pieces and then be like, oh no, I don't have time to practice what my other teacher gave me, or I don't have enough time to practice what's in the book. Keep up with your current practice regimen. And this is like an extra thing. That's why I only want you to learn one of these, right? I don't want you to drive yourself crazy is, is the point I'm trying to make. This is just a enhancing learning experience that we can learn together. So that's how you're gonna choose your piece. If you have a lot of trouble choosing a piece, you can ask me in the Discord and I'll try my best to kind of figure out, excuse me, I got an itch there, um, where you might wanna start. But that's what you wanna do. You wanna join the Discord is like the most important thing that you can do. And then go to the Piano Practice Club section. There's other things going on on the Discord. You wanna read the Discord rules because if you violate those, you will be kicked out of the Discord. And Emma will kick you out and uh, other things is like um, new videos and announcements like today I put oh we're meeting live in a couple minutes um, sometimes after a lesson like a live lesson I'll put some extra stuff here so just showing you around some like other things um, eventually we're going to start doing a gaming night on one of my other channels I'm not going to talk about that right now though um, and then community channels like introduce yourself these are all the new people that joined <laughs> just now Thank you for joining, by the way. General chat is probably where you just like want to be hanging out, like maybe asking other community members a question. That's another great thing about the Discord is it's not just communicating with me. We're all going to be communicating together. And I've already seen some pretty good discussions go on, mainly about flying planes this week, which is odd. But <laughs> I've seen a lot of good discussions going on. Um, between students and I love to see that especially if you're giving advice or even if you're talking about whatever uh, It's really cool that we have that space. You can think about this as our clubhouse really just for us um, Inspirations and challenges just going through a few of the extra things that aren't necessarily related to piano practice club this is like a blog that Robin does and she will put up like a post and you know, it's just like things to think about. You know, she'll usually pick a lesson that I've done before and then kind of build on that. And I really recommend people check that out as well. Um, and there's some other things you can take a look at. And there will be minor changes going on to the Discord over the months, but the Piano Practice Club stuff, I'm gonna keep the same just to make things not confusing. So let me check in, see where everybody's at maybe. Um, me in the chat uh, hold on hold on 
uh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, thank you, Emma, for linking the Discord. I appreciate that. Um, but it failed. Oh, Kate, unfortunately, it failed. I've been getting that. Emma, do you know what that's about? I've been uh, sharing the Discord link, and I would say like one out of every 10, one out of every 20 people say that it doesn't work. And I double check it, and it definitely works. And we definitely get a lot of sign up. So I do know that the link I gave you works. But I'm just wondering why it doesn't work for everybody, or why it doesn't work for everybody all the time. Is it a Discord issue? Do you know? Uh, Emma, let me know. Emma is the Discord expert on the channel. So let me know, Emma, once you uh, if you know the answer to that. Hello, everybody. It doesn't look like we have too many questions so far. Fine, Discord is a very good way to communicate. I agree. I agree. Hopefully, you guys can figure out how to join it. I'll grab you another link if I have to. Yeah, I do see people join. That That's true, too. So keep trying, Kate. You might want to try from a different computer or a different browser or something, or even try later. Yeah, me too. I think it should be fine too. I did that the other day on the community tab. People were like, oh, it doesn't work. But only a couple people. But I, I was like, well, I just had like 40 people sign up. So it definitely works somewhere. Do they have the app downloaded? It worked for me, and I'm also on phone. So maybe you have to have the app downloaded. Hmm. But I don't have it downloaded on this computer, and it works. I don't know. Keep trying. I'll, I'll see like what I can learn about Discord to see what the issue may be, Kate. And we'll definitely get you a part of the uh, the experience here. Try some things on your end. I would try like different browsers. Um, somebody has a problem here. So it looks like you're not the only one. Awesome. So Zaynep, by the way, welcome back. Uh, it has been a while. Well, I think you were here last time, actually. I'll definitely record myself and send you. That's great. Yes, it is totally free. I should have said that in the beginning. It is completely free. Uh, it will never cost any money. Um, there is something coming called channel memberships. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, though, but Piano Practice Club will probably not be part of that. But, yeah, I'm going to give people here a minute to see if they can uh, sort through everything. I do have a lesson I'm going to teach today as well here, um, but I definitely wanted to open up with the Piano Practice Club stuff. Because uh, it's going to be like, try the link I put in. So, okay. Um, I think it's going to be a big deal. Like, I think people are really going to enjoy it, especially once we get rolling along. I always expect the first session to have some uh, flubs and mistakes here and there with, like, just ha how, you know, things get smoother as I do them. Uh, you know, if you've, I don't know if you've ever seen the first live stream I've ever done. Uh, Richard, unfortunately, who isn't here, he was there, and I recorded like 50 minutes of content with no audio, and I was so pissed that when I found out it wasn't recording the audio, I just I just ended the live stream. A total of like two people attended, by the way. I've been playing for five months, and I'm feeling a little stuck. Okay, haven't too much progress recently. Well, Dorf, maybe uh, join our piano practice club. Pick one of the pieces. You know, see uh, where you're at. I do actually. By the way, today's live lesson that I didn't put in the title is uh, tips. If you are a self-learned piano player, so maybe there are some tips I'm going to give you today, even that will help you out. But I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes, see where people are with the Discord, and then we'll do the lesson portion. Any questions about Piano Practice Club? Danielle's usually in school, and that's a good point, Danielle, is that the the question some people may have is, is this going to be recorded? Can I watch it later? What if I can't make it? That's totally fine. You know, maybe submit your recording in the Discord if you want to, and then check out the recording later where I talked about it. So you're still going to get just as much out of it. You can try to ask me questions ahead of time on the Discord, and I'll try to remember to bring them up during the live stream. All right. What questions does anybody have? Will it be at the same time each month? Great question. Yes. I'm going to try my best to keep it at the first Friday of each month at 3 p.m. 
Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time, depending on what time of year it is. Um, but YouTube, I'll post it up on YouTube. So if you go on YouTube, let me do this. I don't want to share any info I'm not supposed to. I already showed my DM to Emma. As I do like every time somehow. Because <laughs> I was going to uh, uh, DM her before to be like, hey, we're meeting live. Um, but she came anyways. Uh, what was I going to show you? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can show you this. Do, do, do. What's the best way? There we go. Okay, so here's the main channel. By the way, our motto around here is practi practical piano instruction for everyday people. So we're a very community-oriented channel, all about giving you the tips you need to succeed at piano. Now, um, obviously, you can see that we're meeting live right now. What was I going to tell you? Oh, so before the next, um, before the session, there should be a section that pops up called like upcoming live streams. And there will be a link like a week ahead of time to our session. I'll post it in the Discord as well. That's why I said join the Discord and it won't let you down. But at least it probably won't. Um, Thank you, Tim. This is really stimulating. Awesome. I'm glad you, you like it so far, Zainab. We haven't even had this the, the thing yet, and you like it. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go on with the lesson I had planned for today. I'm going to let you guys kind of sort out um, the other stuff, and we'll get all right on to it. So let me uh, get my notes out, and then at the end I'll answer any questions you guys have about piano practice. Club, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm going to be participating as well. I'm only going to pick one piece out of the selection. I don't know if I'm going to pick the hardest one. Depends on what I have going on that month, to be honest, because I have uh, videos to make and stuff. But I am going to be participating. I'm going to be playing for you um, something and showing you, you know, my findings throughout the month as well. That's actually kind of how I started this idea. I was like, I need to get back into piano practicing again. Might as well drag everybody else down with me. <laughs> So uh, here we go. Do an intro here and then we'll get right on into the lesson. Okay. Today I'm going to give you some tips that are a must watch for self taught piano players. It's your piano teacher, Tim, here today, and I'm going to be specifically telling you, as a self-taught piano player, where to find music, how to practice all the important stuff, how to stay motivated, some general practice tips, and of course, how to find out whether you're making progress or you're not making progress, which is pretty important. Let's get to it. Let me try one more time. I like the intros to be good. Today I'm going to give you some tips that are a must watch and a must listen for self-taught piano players. So you better pay attention. It's your piano teacher Tim here today and specifically as a self-taught piano player I'm going to be telling you where to find music, how to learn all the right things, uh, how to uh, stay motivated which is probably the most important thing, and then basically how to find out whether you're improving or you're not. Let's get to it. There, I like that one a little bit better. All right. Oh. Sorry, too zoomed out. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to want to need, you're going to want to get, <laughs> let me try it again. <laughs> I can't talk today. So the first thing you're want to you're gonna want to get is a piano practice lesson book or some sort of piano course, which I'll talk more about in a second. But if you get one of these lesson books, it's great because it introduces you to pieces and topics in the order that you're supposed to be learning them, especially if you don't have a teacher, which is really really helpful. So as you can see, it starts way from the beginning, like how to do hand exercises, finger numbers, 
all that stuff, and it quickly takes you through to where you're playing real pieces, you're reading music, you know, and you keep going, keep going. You're, as you can see, it's getting more complicated. And then by the end of this first book, even, you're playing some pretty substantial music that will be a great starting point or a great foundation for the rest of your piano playing experience. So the first tip is to get some sort of piano lesson book or course. Speaking of piano courses, I have courses over on my, on my website, pianolessonsontheweb.com. I have courses for beginner students, intermediate and advanced students, and they are structured in a way to, again, make sure you're learning the right things in the right order with pieces to practice. It's basically like this book, but there's different pieces. The lessons are for me, and it helps the channel out as well. So remember, pianolessonsontheweb.com, good place to get courses. And this particular book, which I should mention, is called The Alfred's Adult All-in-One Course. It's the number one book I actually recommend for beginner self-learned piano students. There's more. <laughs> Let me show you the next tip I have for you. The next tip is how to stay motivated. So the number one way to stay motivated is to write down really the reasons why you're learning piano in the first place. And, you know, they those reasons can vary a lot depending on who you are. A lot of people learn piano to learn megalovania, <laughs> which is a Undertale piece. But, you know, it could vary... Uh, your goals can vary person to person, so make sure to write them down, and they will keep you motivated at times where sometimes you forget why you started to begin with. So having a list, yours might not be as silly as mine, but having a list, checking it twice of why you started will keep you motivated. There's another tip I have to keep you motivated, and that is to listen to popular artists or artists that you like that play the music that you like or the play the music that you want to learn on the piano. You'd be surprised how good this is at keeping you motivated and keeping you inspired. After all, I think a lot of us learn piano because we were inspired somehow, or we have some reason behind it, right? You saw an artist that you liked. You have a family member that played. You want to impress your grandma or something like that, right? So make sure that you're um, not only writing down the reasons you started, but you're listening to artists and people that are doing the dream that you'll want to achieve. Let's get on to the next tip. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me get something to the ready. The next tip is a silly one, and I promise the next one is a lot better, but this one is also good. You want to subscribe to Piano Lessons on the web dot well no piano lessons on the web youtube channel i have a ton of content already here and our channel motto is practical piano instruction for everyday people and that means you so these are the tips videos and lessons that you need to basically build a strong foundation learning music and to continue being successful so this channel is really really geared Whereas not only people who may have a teacher already and you're looking for something uh, supplemental, to something to supplement your learning, but it's also great for self-learners as well. I highly recommend you check out the Courses for Beginners section here, and I also recommend you check out the most valuable tips for learning piano. This selection of videos right here are the most, not only the most popular generally, but also the most, I feel the most important and most useful tips on the channel. So tip number three is to subscribe to a YouTube channel that's geared towards what you're trying to accomplish as a musician. So if you're really trying to become a well-rounded musician, I'm biased in saying this, but Piano Lessons on the Web is the one you want to subscribe to. Make sure you have all notifications turned on. I have a more useful tip coming up, which is right now. Carrie will edit in. A fascinating transition there. Um, let's continue.
number four is that you want to be practicing as close to every day as possible. So think about um, like anything you're doing, like exercise, brushing your teeth, going to school, going to work. You know, what makes some of those things successful? Well, you're doing them at the same time. You know, they're a priority. Uh, it's something that uh, you want to do. But here's the one thing I want to tell you is that if you make, if you don't make piano practicing a priority, your results will reflect that. So like I said, some tips I have is to pick the same time each day, practice as close to every day as possible because it's all about developing positive habits that will help you rather than hinder you. So make sure you make practice a priority and make it a regular thing. Even if it's just 10 minutes a day, it's just all about getting into that regular routine of practicing. You don't want to practice really good for a couple weeks and then take weeks and weeks off and then come back weeks and weeks, take weeks and weeks off. That will hinder your progress a lot. It's a lot better to practice a little bit each day or even a lot each day than it is a lot in chunks, taking chunks off and then taking, you know, learning in chunks again. I think you get the idea. Let's get on to the next awesome tip for self-taught learners. Okay, the next tip I have for you, this one will help you make sure that you're you're making progress over time. And that is to record yourself with your phone, your uh, like, I know there's a, a audio software for a PC that's free called Audacity. There's even a, one built into Windows, I believe. I don't know anything about Mac, I'm sorry, but I know there are ones for Mac as well. But the key is to record yourself playing, I would say like once a month. Record yourself in the beginning of the month, and then the beginning of the next month, listen to your, rec like record yourself again, and then compare the recordings to hear if you can hear a discernible improvement between each recording. If you really can't, maybe you're not making that much progress. So what I recommend you do is um, either keep practicing, maybe your practice regimen hasn't been strong enough, or even better, you ever have the opportunity to play for a teacher, whether it's a, a, a paid private lesson teacher, you have a piano teacher at school, please take that opportunity to play for them. Because even if you spend a couple of minutes playing for them and they give you just a couple of tips of feedback, that can be so, so valuable in improving into the future. I get that not all of us can afford a teacher, but um, recording yourself and listening to yourself over time is the next best thing. All right, any questions? Let me know in the comments. Do you have any questions about self-taught piano players? We're not done yet, we're continuing after this, but I wanna know any questions that you might have and I might make a follow-up video, but I'll certainly do my best to answer your questions that you may have. All right, we got another one. So this is like kind of extending to the one I just talked about, um, using opportunities to play in front of teachers and get their feedback. Guess what? I got something just for you and I just started this. Um, I want to tell you about this. Give me a second. I started this thing over on our community discord called Piano Practice Club. It's right there on the left. So I have a link for you in the description for discord. You click it, you join our discord, and then you go down here into the left to the Piano Practice Club section. And we have our pieces that we're going to be learning for a month. You're probably going to be wondering, what is Piano Practice Club? Well, I should explain it for this lesson uh, particularly. So Piano Practice Club is like a book club, but with practicing piano pieces. So we're going to be meeting um, the first Friday of each month at 3 p.m. Eastern, by the way, uh, live here on YouTube, where we will be playing together a selection of pieces that or that you can find on the Discord that we're all gonna be learning together. There's also more information on the Discord of how you should be practicing them. Like you're only supposed to learn one piece out of the, the list. You can submit a recording. That's all over here on the Discord actually. If you go over to the October pieces, you can find a bit of verbiage here from me on how to proceed. So join the Discord and uh, let me know any questions you may have about it. You can record, you can record yourself either audio or video and submit your recordings down here, or you can recommend a piece um, for us to play next time. 
So that's how that works. So that I just want to tell you that because I was saying that um, you, you want to get as much feedback as you can. So guess what? If you want feedback, submit something to Piano Practice Club and I'll give you feedback during our live session. And other students, uh, once we get things rolling, we'll hopefully give you feedback as well. So something free, by the way, for you to take advantage of. All right, I got another tip. It's the most important tip of all time. If you've watched my videos, you might know this, but even though I say it a lot, I look like a chipmunk. Even though I say it a lot, it is just as important. And that is to watch another video. And particularly, I want you to check out this playlist of the Home Piano Course. Home Piano Course was a free course I put here on YouTube where I go over this book I told you about earlier <laughs> and I show you like how to practice the pieces and stuff. Ain't I a nice guy? So check that out in the thing right there, the playlist. I'm gonna link it for you in the description as well. That's the Home Piano Course, the 2020 version, of course. It's been your piano teacher, Tim, here. Thank you so much for coming by today. Well, thank you so much for coming by today and I'll see you, yes you, in that next lesson. Thank you so much and have a great day day. All right, I'm still here. That was just like an outro for the lesson. Let me piece it together. Okay. All right, guys, I've been gone a while. I don't know <laughs> how many questions I've gotten. I think Emma has been answering them. How to memorize chords. I actually have a lesson coming up soon, which is like, what is it? Uh, I don't want to tell you the exact title. It's like things I wish I knew when I first started playing and I had um, a, a way to memorize the chords in that lesson. Also, if you type in chords and piano lessons on the web into YouTube, you can see all the chords lessons that I've made. And I may actually do have a lesson uh, that has what you desire. Play a sign at the same time each day, play consistently and record yourself. So true. All right, just reading through comments here. I enjoy breaking my vocal parts down in notes and completely unintelligently finding them in the keyword. Okay, it brings me joy. All right. Uh, discovering new laws of physics. <laughs> That's a funny comment. I like that. Good evening, Brian. How are you? Hello, everybody. I use Accelerated Piano Adventures. I like Piano Adventures also. I really like the pieces. You know, I'll probably do a video on that because I like the... Here's the thing about Piano Adventures. I like the Piano Adventure selections of pieces better, but they don't really have as much like lessons in between, I noticed. So that I always find that Piano Adventures is a good like supplement to this. I usually like if I have a student, I'll give them this book or have them buy this book. And then I will also have them get Piano Adventures as like a extra extra thing. Learning piano is your dream. That's awesome. You have that book already. That's quite awesome as well. Friend, how to join Discord? Yeah, click the link to join the Discord, everybody. Um, how is everybody doing with joining the Discord? Kate, did you ever? Oh, awesome. Kate figured it out with Emma's help, I believe. Thank you so much, everybody. Emma, do you want a job? <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I kind of have an idea. I don't know if you'd be interested. Um, yeah, that's not something I should talk about here. Anyways, um, been playing for five months. Okay, okay. This is the part where I've already read to. So it looks like people are successfully joining the Discord now. Um, hopefully everybody gets all the things ironed out because unfortunately I only know so much about Discord. Uh, let's see. Uh, being sure I get everybody's questions here about it. All right, let me check the Discord real quick. Make sure that, um, see how many people have joined and so forth. Whoa, bro. We got 22 people just signed up in the last few minutes and then somebody else just joined. That's so cool. So it looks like people are successfully joining. Remember that the most important area, because somebody asked me right before the live stream began, like, I don't really understand the Discord. And I didn't either, like, for the first couple months. <laughs> but 
if you're in the piano practice club, just stick to this section right here, these like three channels, and you'll be all right. Like this is the most important one that you want, and then it kind of tells you what to do with these two. I actually also think that the new videos and um, announcements section all the way at the top is very important as well. If I have to cancel on you guys, um, which by the way, I just want to apologize for last week. I've been having some trouble sleeping, so it was like kind of difficult to get everything you know, together. And I didn't want to slap together the uh, Piano Practice Club stuff. You know, I wanted just like a little more time to think that out. Anyways, um, sorry for last week, but I will post like if, I, if I'm running behind or I'll post the new lesson coming out for the week. So that's another important section as well, but stick to the Piano Practice Club and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Um, yeah, all right, let's continue. Uh, I just wondered if you had any tips on working out fingering on new pieces. Um, yes, <laughs> I have a, I have a piano practice, piano finger guide that I will link you to. Just give me a second. I have, I have an interesting story. So one of the live streams I did early on. I was looking up, so I have something called the Piano Finger Guide. Let me see if I can find it. Hmm, can't find it. <laughs> the heck? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, the, the beginner's lesson on proper piano fingering. And so I was doing a live stream. And it's really important that if you're ever looking up how to do piano finger technique to, to make sure you put the piano word in there. So if you just look up fingering technique, uh, the lessons you will, that will appear will be quite different than the ones you expect. And I did that on a live stream one time. And thankfully there weren't a lot of people in attendance because like the pictures that were coming up, a lot of them were animated though, because it's YouTube, but they were like more educational videos, but I was like, Whoa, that's not, <laughs> that is not what I meant to, to put, show on my screen. But anyway, uh, piano finger guide, check that out. It's a video I did a while back, uh, but it's still just as, um, still just as valuable. Are you going to finish the theory book lessons? That's a good question. I got that question just the other day. Uh, yeah, but I don't know when. Oh, before the end of the year, I'll tell you this. I, I hope to get, because I still have to do another two lesson, two live streams, I think, to knock the rest of this book out. Because the pieces at the end of that book get like, they're not hard. They just take a long time to explain because they're, they're longer. Um, the theory book, I could finish out in live streams as well. Um, I do plan on finishing it and I do apologize to the people that were following it for a while. And then I kind of got busy with other things, but I do plan on finishing it. Um, so the answer for you is like by the end of the year, I hope to knock these out in some live streams. Uh, I agree with that. Like I'm working on the end of book two. Oh, here's a, a message from Kate. I want to learn piano in order to do something creative as I work in the science field. That's cool. Also to do it for pleasure and to impress. Well, if you saw from my, like it was kind of a joke list of why you learn piano. And the first one is impress my crush at school. That's probably like what I would have written down if I was like 16 or something. Oh, and then number two is make my enemies jealous. Number three is to start a YouTube channel. Number four is like more of a serious one. Play the theme song for Rocky. And then the last one is learn megalovania, which is, I swear is like why half of people learn <laughs> piano is to learn megalovania. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. All valid reasons, I agree. I agree. Thank you. I'll check that out. Yeah, check out the piano finger guide. So, like I said, take my advice when you're when you're writing into YouTube. Make sure you use the piano word, please. 
That's so embarrassing. I hope nobody digs that up someday. I don't think I deleted it either. I think it's still out there. It's like one of the big, like probably the first year of live streaming. I was definitely still down in my parents' basement when I did that one. Uh, teacher Tim, when you start learning piano, like childhood, yeah. So the story of how I started learning piano is uh, I was like six years old, and we had the Sega Genesis. Well, we had the NES first, the Nintendo, the, the, the Nintendo, like the original one. And we had the Sega Genesis, also called the Sega back then. There was the, the war between them, and Sega was clearly better. But anyways, I was playing way too much Sega Genesis. And we all were, like me, my brother, and my sister. And my dad would come home every day, and he would get, like, really mad. I guess my mom, too. Uh, get really mad that we, like, weren't doing anything <laughs> with our lives, or we weren't doing anything constructive. And he had read an article in a, a book called Dear Abby, I think. Yeah, if, it, no, Dear Abby was, like, the segment in the book. And it was, like, the n number one thing that parents make their children do that they don't regret or resent later on. And the number one thing was uh, like piano or music lessons. So he made us all pick an instrument. My brother picked guitar. My sister and I picked piano. I was the only one that stuck with it in the long run. Yeah, and I mean the rest is history. So, he, so the answer as to how I got started playing too many video games is I started when I was about six. And I started because uh, I was playing too many video games and my parents were mad. Can I play Megalovania? No. Can I beat Sans? No. I actually haven't tried. I haven't done the genocide route, but um, a lot of people probably have no idea what we're talking about. So, so no, I can't play Megalovania. Could I if I practiced it? Uh, probably. I feel like I could learn almost anything if I like got really into practicing again, which is why I like the Piano Practice Club idea. Uh, yeah, Alexander. So once you download the app, click on. Wait, Emma, what link is this? Wait, Emma, that's not the Discord link. What? Anyway, I'll let you sort that out. I don't know what's happening. That link doesn't keep you to the Discord. <laughs> Am I? I think you gave him the wrong link. I'm a beginner in piano and I've always wanted to play since I was about... Whoa, what? Hello? Sorry, everybody. My mouse got carried away. What is going on right now? Okay, we're back. We're back. Yeah, click on that <laughs> to join the Discord. Yeah, Emma grabbed the, the wrong link. Uh, amazing. Bring me back to my childhood and give me that book to my parents. <laughs> yeah, you know, my parents weren't perfect, but I think back to things like that. And I'm like, you know, they, they did care. Like, they, sometimes it was hard to tell, but some of, the, some of that stuff, it's like, yeah, they definitely, uh, they definitely did a good job on, you know, it's like everybody's parents. They do a great job in some places. Some places it's like, man, what were you thinking for like 20 years at a time? But you know how it is. Or at least I think a lot of people feel that way about their parents. It's like, how can you be so smart and so dumb at the same time? I think they think the same thing about us, so. I'm, I'm tempted to, to, to look at this. Wait, hold on. This channel goaded? I mean, that's a positive comment, but it looks like the emoji is, like, gagging itself. <laughs> oh, and he's yawning. Oh. Eh. You could try harder. You could troll harder than that. Come on. You kind of get got a chuckle out of me, though. Not too bad. Mm, how to join the Discord? Yeah, click the Discord link after you download Discord, and it should help you out. I used to get a lot more trolls on the channel, too. I don't know what's been going on. The trolls have been sleeping. I think it's because I tr I either troll them back or I just don't get that mad anymore. I kind of... It depends. I don't want to, like, encourage it because it's like... 
whatever. But um, some of the stuff I find like, – like if, if somebody puts some genuine thought into it, I think it's funny. Let's see. Um, they're hibernating. Yeah, I know. I know. I used to get a lot more mean comments on my channel too. Oh, <laughs> wait, I promise I wasn't trolling. I love that. This actually makes me amused even more. I wasn't trolling. The yawn was like, oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting the stuff I learned in piano. That's okay. Um, that's actually fairly normal. That probably means that you just need to practice. You, you need to, like, review things a little bit more before you move on. The key with piano right is you need to know like like reading music is the perfect example you don't want to just learn how to read music and never look at it again you want to learn how to read music and practice it like every day for years at a time so that you'd be like oh that's an e that's a b that's an a that's a g you know right away so i think based on the short sentence you told me um i think that you just need to go over you know like like create a review process like like each topic you you learn Write it down and then review that. Emma doesn't believe you, I don't think. <laughs> you retracted your message? That's hilarious. I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm laughing now. All right, anyway, guys, uh, I don't want to ramble on too long. Everybody's going to abandon the live stream. So, again, if you're just joining us and you're like, what is happening? Uh, I just want to go over it like one last time and then um, actually, you know what I want to do? I want to do this really quick because this is important. Very important. So over on my website, pianolessonsontheweb.com, I have over 20 courses designed to help you learn not just piano, but like music theory, ear training, anything you need to become a well-rounded musician. And of course, I have to like burp right now, which is a weird time, but... Uh, but the great thing is that you can, um, these are like more structured than the YouTube lessons. And also they include a lot more, um, supplementary material. So basically you're going to be learning something in a video that I've provided you in the course. And then you're going to have the opportunity to, you're going to have like, um, uh, let me explain this again. I got sidetracked. Uh, let me see here. So, so you're going to be able to learn, practice and master the essential topics with instructional videos. But then you're also going to have notes, worksheets, and sheet music to help you reinforce what you're learning in the videos. That's what I wanted to say, and that's why I write this stuff down. Sometimes I just can't talk. I apologize. Uh, so this is great for beginners who want a solid foundation, or if you're looking to bring your playing to that next level, uh, this is the way to do it. I cover a lot of things I haven't covered on the YouTube channel and in a lot more detail. And you can contact me with any questions you may have. You can learn at your own pace. Oh, let me bring up the website again. And uh, yeah, you can learn on any device that you choose. I recommend picking up a course pack because it's kind of easier to keep track of. Like all the courses are um, co in, in a collection together based on where you may be learning piano. So if you're a beginner, you have like the four courses that I think are like the foundation that builds off everything else builds off. And then the intermediate has nine courses, advanced nine courses, and then you can buy all courses um, for one, like the best price. So I wanna show you, so let's take the beginner's pack for, uh, for example, and you click on it and it tells you what courses are included. By the way, you can click on each of these courses and it will take you to that course description page. It's gonna tell you what's covered in the course, Give you a little sample video here um, and, and like basically how long it's going to take the songs that you're going to be learning a lot of important info there and you can go through for all the courses included and there's a satisfaction guarantee so if you're not uh, satisfied within the first 30 days just request one through email and i would be more than happy to oblige and yeah all transactions are protected with SSL. I usually don't mention that part, but I'm just kind of uh, listing it off here. So, you, so if you're just starting out, you probably want the beginner's pack. If you've been playing for a while, maybe you want to check out the intermediate pack. And you may be thinking, well, is this for me? Well, I recommend going through, especially the first course listed in each pack. And just go over here 
and let's see what you need to know and check out the what you need to know section and if you're like okay i've played some two-handed songs before i know what dynamics are i've played a uh, like some pieces with a couple of sharps or flats i know what eighth notes are die coordinates are if you said yes to most or all those questions then this is the course you want to start out with if you know all that stuff and you're like yeah i've known that stuff for a while check out the next level up go to the what you need to know section this is like basically how to determine what course you're going to be in and then go through that list of stuff see what you know what you don't know if there's significant stuff you don't know you'll want to start with that course there's one more thing i want to tell you is that well say say we want to purchase this all courses this is all courses on the website uh existing and new by the way as you can see they are all listed here you click add to cart it's going to show up in your cart just like any website ever made you click check out you click coupon code and if you type in youtube and you click apply it's going to take an additional 15 percent off the total price so you can get a pretty good deal here i do want to tell you that course prices will be going up somewhere in the beginning of the year i'm actually going to be revising the courses adding things to them in the beginning of the year so I want the price to reflect that because they will be even better. So, but the good thing is I want to tell you this is that if you sign up for courses prior to me updating them, you get them at the lower price and anybody that's previously purchased courses will automatically get the updated versions of them as well when they are available. So I just wanted to throw that out there with you. Um, so you know that ahead of time. So piano lessons on the web.com use code YouTube for 15% off. It's a good structured way to make sure you're learning all the right stuff at all the right times. And, um, it also helps the channel out as well. So piano lessons on the web.com. I want to tell you about that. I want to go over the discord one more time, and then we're going to adjourn for today. Um, so I have linked you the discord in the description and in the comments and stuff like that um, this is the piano practice club section if you are joining for that reason but there's also a lot of other things you might want to check out here on the left um, little features here or there for the channel and it looks like we've got some even more people have joined we've got like 30 people 40 people joined just in the last day or so which is really awesome i really appreciate it uh, everybody joining so this is like our community clubhouse join the community discord we're going to be doing more with it as time goes on but the big draw for now is the piano practice club okay let's see what we got here thank you emma for linking i appreciate that jeremy isn't here today to link uh, so i appreciate it emma thank you emma's the best I will advise this to a friend who is learning piano too, though she's not very good with English. That's okay. I do my best with the non non native English speakers. I've gotten better. Like I used to, when I first started teaching online, I would get students like I used to do Skype lessons, which may come back at some point, or it was like one on one internet lessons. And sometimes I would get somebody from a foreign country and their accent would be like so heavy that I like couldn't tell what they were saying. But I've actually gotten better. Even in like writing, like figuring out what people are trying to convey, you know, because we're all from different parts of the planet. Uh, Teacher Tim, I've been self-taught for around one year, currently working on Piano Adventure Book 2 and last piece of Alfred Book 1. That's great. My routine is half warm-up scales. That's great. 30 minutes learning scales. Are they enough? Uh, 30 minutes for learning a piece. Um, so wait, you're, you're spending an hour? If I get this correctly, you're spending an hour practicing, right? Because the first half is like warm up and scales. Yeah, that's pretty good, especially if you're just starting out. Um, I mean, even 15 minutes on the scales and stuff and 45 on the pieces probably wouldn't hurt you either. It depends. I think in the if you're just starting out, I think 30, 30 is a good split. Um... Yeah, that's a good start. That's all I'll say. Uh, and then if you find, like, if you get to a point where your, like, scales are amazing and you're like, well, the pieces, the, the progress on the pieces isn't really enough, 
then you know put more time into the pieces a little less time into the warm up but i do think starting out putting half the time into the warm up and exercises isn't a bad idea so i think for starting out you know being what a year around one year yeah not too bad i would stick with that for a while see like like i said once you notice your scales and all your warm ups getting really 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 good spend a little less time on those and more time on the pieces All right, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, t Mean Comments Trolls can't believe who would do that. Such a wonderful educational channel, boo. Oh, that's all right. I still don't know if he was trolling or not. He said he wasn't trolling. Probably Discord, I would think. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think about what I want to wrap up with. If I have any other announcements or anything. Um, trying to give an update on what I'm working on. The main thing I'm working on right now is getting the Piano Practice Club off the ground. Um, some recorded lessons will be on the way. And... Oh, there's a problem with the website? It isn't loading for you. Let me just make sure it's loading for me. Sometimes my service provider... Okay, it works great for me. Uh, we'll be doing – oh, are you from Russia? Russia, for some reason, has blocked my website, and there's, like, nothing I can do about it. I don't know, like, what to do um, except use a VPN. It, it could be being blocked in your country, and you may need to – I think China might block me too. You might need a VPN. But I was going to say sometimes – my service provider is like doing stuff on their end like that I can't do anything about. So the site will be down for like half hour. If that ever happens, you go to the site and it just like doesn't load. Just try again a little bit later. And then if it doesn't load again, let me know. And I'll see uh, what we can what we can do. You are. Okay. You're going to need a VPN. Uh, Russia doesn't like my website. I don't, I don't think they like anybody. <laughs> like anybody's websites, I should say. I have a VPN. So try your VPN. See if that works. That's why I don't get, like, all these countries putting all these restrictions on. Because, like, you can just get a VPN. I don't know. Well, everybody, I think I'm going to adjourn for today. Thank you for coming by. Uh, let me know when this video is posted. Let me know any questions you might have about uh, Piano Practice Club in the description. Also, let me know on the Discord as well, and I'd be happy to help you out so i'm looking forward to our first meeting we will be meeting live next week though not piano practice club related um so look out for that i'll answer one more question and then we will adjourn today um question i'm currently learning music theory after i'm done with that what do i do you will never be done learning music theory there's always there's always more it depends. Um, learn more piano pieces. <laughs> like, like there's just so much. That's just such a loaded question because it's like, like I've been learning theory for years and I don't know it all, you know. And the, well, theory you can like, new composers can make up different techniques and things. So I don't know. That's a loaded question. Uh, keep learning piano pieces. Keep learning different, like different. Uh, like different genre, like like maybe if you're really good at music theory with um, what they call common practice, which is like uh, classical period stuff, try learning jazz theory. So that's actually a good answer. Uh, learn theory in a different genre because there are lots of them. Great live today. Glad to see so many people joining. I agree. This is pretty cool. Um, I kind of had a feeling that that would be a good way to get people more engaged and I th I really do think that it's going to be a great experience especially once we get going I think more and more people will be interested 
Ah, oh, the site is working. Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. I'm actually glad I got that email like years ago. I was talking to somebody and they were like, oh, I don't understand why. This... Oh, that's what happened is for a while my cha or my uh, site did work in Russia and China. No, I think it was always blocked in China. I've, kn I've known that it was blocked in China for a long time, actually. Um, but I had a conversation with somebody and they were like, yeah, I was using your website. And all of a sudden, I can't access it anymore. It's just like access denied. Uh, and then we kind of figured out it was Russia was blocking it. I forget how we figured that out. We did some kind of investigation on it. Anyway, it's great to hear you that you got on the website. Thanks, everybody, for coming by today. Again, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I'll see you later. Signing out for now, it's been Tim, your piano teacher here on Piano Lessons on the Web. Remember, we're all about practical piano instruction for everyday people. And if you know somebody in your life that needs some practical piano instruction and they're an everyday person, send them a, a link to one of my videos or my channel um, or the Piano Practice Club. So thanks everybody for coming by today. And uh, yes, it is smart to diversify piano fields. And I will see everybody in the next lesson. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emma, for all your help today. I really appreciate it. You're amazing. Thank you. Good night.